What's the story behind your scar? I did cocaine for the first time while being extremely drunk. Started playing with a dog. Running around in the house from room to room. Slipped on water on the floor from said dog's water bowl and went knee first into a steel door frame. Five hours in the ER and several weeks later the man who took me to the hospital and I started dating. We're still together five and a half years later. This is one of the only stories here that has a happy ending. Good for you laddie. I think you mean lassie. Wanna know how I got these scars? First scar. When I was a little boy I put my hand into the rice grinder machine. Not inside the cylinder but between the barrel and shaft that drives the machine. It was a small gap only would fit a child's hand. The edge of the barrel sliced my hand. Full stop. Second scar. A guy was wearing a cheap knockoff square shaped watch. It was metal and I was sitting close to him having lunch on the floor. When I get up my elbow brushed against his watch and there was a deep instant tear. Third scar. My dog's name is Scar. We adopted him. You can find his picture in my account. I have pinned it. Because a scar stays with you forever? No. Because if you give it enough bio oil it will fade away. Do you mind? I'm trying to do wholesome dog posting here. My bad. I was trying to do some wholesome bio oil posting. I had a third nipple. My whole life I thought it was a scar or something but one day my friend joked about it being another nipple. It was right below my left boob. I told my mom I thought I had a third nipple. And she said she had one as well. She showed me hers that looked like a tiny mole. I showed her my third nipple and she immediately said, Yeah let's get that removed. Doctor said there was a little bit of breast tissue and if I got pregnant I could have produced a little bit of milk. Yikes. Same. Ish. Left side too. Changed color while pregnant, but didn't produce milk. Sixth grade me thought I could catch a football that was flying over a fence held up by a T-stake. 40 stitches later I learned that fence played some great defense. You could even say it played some great defense. Pizza burn. Pizza burn. Pizza burn. Drunk bruise four-wheeler crash. I've been in pizza for nine years. How big is this pizza? We sell slices from a 22 inch. Our largest to go is 18 inches. Shattered my spine skydiving while celebrating being 2.5 years cancer free. This is so sad. Hope you're doing well now. I'm so sorry to hear what happened. Congratulations on being cancer. Not want to be a dick here but there is a typo you should fix. I guess autocorrect is to blame. Congratulations on being cancer. The new greatest response to certain kinds of people. I ran into a mirror as a small child thinking I had met a friend. Edit. Thank you for my first silver kind stranger. So much purer than I expected. And sharper. What was your plan? To just run into the friend? As the owner of a couple of small children I can tell you with confidence that there was no plan. As a former small child. Can confirm. Planning was never a thing. Me also being a former small child, I can confirm I never ran into new friends. Skin cancer. Kids made fun of me for it in elementary school so I had surgery done. It's a shape of a heart now. Eight eggs. Got sick with salmonella. Do not recommend. Ended up in hospital. Tried to get up to go to bathroom on day four. Immediately fainted. Hit head on the corner of something on the way down. Hard. Get back in bed feeling sleepy. Have nurses and husband yelling at me to stay awake. Woke up next day with a 1.5 inch long cut on my temple. The scar looks like my husband's into all so he jokes he tattooed me while I was passed out. His into all? His initial. Is that what you mean? Brutal story. In any case. Yikes. I have a pretty impressive one on my cheek. Thing is I got it from scratching my face all the time as a baby. Not a terribly good story. <laughs> Broke my arm pretty bad. Wrecked my crot crocket. Broken collarbone. Ribs. Ankle. Wrist. Kneecap. And road rash. Knife fight scars on both arms. Defensive wounds. Appendicitis. Wrecking on my BMX bike and skateboarding. Busted shins. Horse stepped on my toe. Bull riding. 
caught a thorn on the side of my nose recently. Put out a lit cigarette on myself. I'm imagining you've got Freddy Krueger scars by now. Got my gallbladder taken out, three scars and a funny ass memory. Elaborate. No. Eating Pizza Hut for dinner with my brother and then hours later in the ER in intense pain, but I had a nurse named Elsa so I asked her if she ever let it go. Yeah lol. No. Came home from work with an upset stomach and some pains that I thought were menstrual cramps. Went to bed, slipped in and out of consciousness for three days. I usually had dinner on Wednesdays with my landlord. He hadn't seen me coming in or out of my apartment for school or work. Lived in apartment next to mine. He thought something was wrong because I usually told him if I'd be out of town to care for my cat. So he came into my apartment to check on me. Found me unconscious in bed. Abdomen swollen to where I looked 8 months preggers. Called ambulance. Get to hospital and come to an excruciating pain. All blood tests came back fine they couldn't figure out what was wrong. Called my mother. 4 hours away. Still in emerald waiting room. Lack of space due to flu outbreak. When mom arrived. She gets them to do all sorts of test scans and whatnot. Had emergency surgery. Turns out my appendix had ruptured and I was going into septic shock. Flat lined on table. Had out of body experience heard and saw things that only my mom and the nurse who came to talk to her knew about. Remove a bit of my intazine due to rotting from poisonous fluids. They thought CERB was successful until one week later when it all starts happening again. Had to reopen me to remove more poisonous fluids turning things internally gangrenous. Fast forward to a grueling one month in hospital and a year of recovery. I am still alive. Sorry for poor formatting as I am on cell. This is a very long story and I cut out a ton of details but you get the gist. I had a very similar experience. I woke up in a hospital room, with a DR telling me how lucky I was to be alive. <laughs> Parents never fixed the side table and were too broke to take me to hospital. <laughs> Do you wanna know how I got these scars? Yeah, I just asked you. Father was a drinker. Didn't his wife had an accident or something? Kind of sad but I have a scar on my left forearm. Just going to say that I had a really dark time and in one of my episodes around December 2018 nearly at New Year's Eve I pretty much cut myself. Pretty simple and straightforward but yeah. I also have another scar on the right side of my stomach. When I was about 6 8 why oh I can't remember it's been so long. There was a bush I'd climb on like the agile little monkey boy I was. I was really into climbing. Whilst my parents were out dining right in front of the bush where the restaurant is. I somehow managed to slip my hands and impale myself on the branch. I can remember hanging from it for a few seconds and began crying. Everything after that is like a cloud I can't remember what happened. The memory might as well be lost because of the trauma plus me being a small B0 I. Picture this. I'm 12 years old. Parents are in the garage talking to some people. I go in with a can of Chef Boyardee beefaroni in my hand. Me. Mom. Can you open this for me? Mom. Not right now. When I'm done talking. Runs into kitchen. D eat breathe me. I'm gonna be 13. Surely I can be an independent young adult and make my own food reads instructions on how to open on top of can. Pushes tab in can and pulls halfway. Hmm. This is a tough can. Guess I'm gonna have to use two hands. Places right thumb directly onto ducking sharp edge of lid proceeds to lift out lid and ducking slits his right thumb ducking deep. Looks at hand and sees blood everywhere. Calmly walks into garage. Me. Ah. Uh, mom. Mom. W hat do y o u y n t from me. Pain dot eggs has joined me. Call 911. Literally what I said word for word and it was the funniest call for help looking back at it. Pain dot eggs is using 100% CPU would you like to shut it down? Everyone thinks I tried to commit suicide by cutting my wrist. Fuck no. I fell off from a mountain. Instead of a car hit me at landing my wrist got stuck in a tree branch. Saving me from the cars in the street. <laughs> tried to use my phone while riding downhill on a bike my forehead broke my fall. <laughs> Dust. I am gonna be up all night trying to understand what this means. Take your time. I had scoliosis and had a titanium rod screwed into the majority of my spine to correct it. It's a pretty awesome scar and people always ask me to see it. 
Wrecked my bike trying to impress a girl and slide across a two-lane street on the left side of my face. I was stabbed in the leg with a sword. One time amidst sleep deprivation, a psychotic episode, and PMS, which is already a god-awful combination, I was aggravated because I'd forgotten to eat that day. I meandered into the kitchen looking for something I could eat fast because I just wanted to go comatose and sleep my life away. So I snatched the package of sandwich meat and decided to mow down on a few slices only to recognize it hadn't been opened yet. I proceeded to struggle with the damned package for a minute or two, but to me it felt like eternity and I was so exhausted. So I decided to grab a knife to assist with my quest despite there literally being a pair of scissors in the same drawer. I worked at a deli for a year, regularly cook, I'm not normally a moron, but that night, oh boy, I was out of my fucking mind. Rather than set the package down on the table like a human resembling any form of rationality I held up the package like some dumbass and proceeded to shank at it. Needless to say I missed. TLDR, I stabbed myself. Got a cyst on my ass then got it drained. First I must describe a piece of playground equipment. Imagine a large wooden pallet on a giant spring, under it in the center. Maybe you've seen this at a playground. You jump on it or just try to stand on it or wobble it. Dot. Anyway, I hope on it and pretend to be Elvis, the king of rock and roll. I do that leg move he does fast tippy tappies with both of his feet whole his legs are in an almost squat pose. That dance. I did that on the wooden spring. My parents died laughing as I sung too. I attempt to jump off. The physics of a wooden spring thing isn't what I guessed. I put my feet together to jump off. I push down with my feet. The board goes down as I apply pressure. I then bring my knees and legs up as I jump. My head has not moved in elevation. My head was steady like a chick and the spring pallet only launched me up only slightly higher than I guessed. But only straight upwards. This was not my planned trajectory. I come crashing back down as the wooden edge of the wobble thing is launching up with force as my both shins as I come flying down. Instant blood. I couldn't walk. My parents carried me. I limped on both legs for a week or two. Over 24 years ago, I still have a slight ache in one of my shins. I got myself matching hairline fractures and scars on both shins that day. All cause I wanted to rock. Both meanings of the word. Like Elvis. Sounds like it was worth it. Even just for my mental image. It kinda mostly was 24 years ago it was pure pain. Then a painful throbbing for a week. Then any time I ran for the next six months it felt like I was just kicked in the sheen. But telling the story of my tiny matching scars is worth it. If ya gotta rock, ya gotta rock. This sort of dedication is why you're the king. A jellyfish once got into my pants. Coral is sharp. I tried to shave when I was eight. Pretty dumb. I suck at shaving my legs. Took the entire first layer of skin off my sheen. It's about two inches long. Nice little indention. My best friend stabbed me in the face. I hadn't seen him in a few weeks. And I went over to his place in 2002 to watch Team Canada in the semi-finals. He had apparently started smoking meth with his dad or something. I misread Scar's car and was thoroughly confused for the first ten comments. My scar is surgery. Okay. But what's the story behind your car? Haha, <laughs> we needed a larger, more reliable one. Sadly, not a fancy story. What's the story behind your car? I've got a hand-me-down from my grandma. The door handles are missing and the radio is busted. But it's fiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiiii
Anyways at some point in these talks it came out that the only reason we didn't end up killing ourselves in our late teens was because we had each other to lean on. We loved each other. We survived together. We grew up together. We decided to commemorate this breakthrough emotional night with something to remember it by. We grabbed a big 18-inch grilling fork and outed into the fire we had been sitting by all night. It sat in the fire for 30 minutes before my friend grabbed it up and we decided to put two hash marks on each of our upright arms. He took the glowing red forks and held it against my skin for a good long while. Then I did his arm. Then we proceeded to go over them two more times. It seared and sizzled like crazy from what I remember. Reading over this it sounds so goddamn stupid and I can't really explain why it felt to write at the time. I don't regret the scar or the night. When I see the big scar it reminds me of how tired I felt as an 18 year old kid. How I'm still tired. How many times I was kicked in the teeth as a kid and still got up. It reminds me to get up even now. Even on days where I want to just fade away. I get up. I'm sorry if this was drawn out. I've never spoken about it and it just felt like this was the time. Hallelujah. It's raining likes and subscribes. Why don't you give us one yourself?